It's Mario time. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Magic of Vox. We're taking a look at how to create Mario. I thought this would be pretty fun. A lot of you guys seem to like speed arts. A lot of you guys seem to like the regular tutorials. So I figured we'll do like a mix up of both again today. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a, a bit of a different color. Uh, we're gonna grab a Mario skin-ish type of color, and we're gonna go to box select mode right there with the B. Make sure we're on attach. Um, we're just gonna drag a box open like that. Um, we're, we're gonna make this four pixels. Uh, 8 pixels by 8 pixels, sorry, not 4. Um, I have grid and frame on down at the bottom left hand down there next to the color. We're going to go ahead and uh, in a second here, I'm going to extrude this with the face tool right there on attach F for face. We're going to extrude this up by 8 pixels, so it's 8 by 8 by 8 by 8. We're going to move it up with that little move tool right under the word paint over on the left hand side. Um, and I think, uh, I think uh, Mario's a great character because uh, he has this really iconic look to him. So you know it's him, so I wanna really make sure we capture that. I'm just gonna extrude four uh, vertices, four voxels down at the bottom of his head there with the box select tool. We're gonna select a different color in the palette, the second one over there, and we're just gonna add in a bit of a red color and then just wrap that around the second part of his neck um, and just use the face tool just to extrude that all the way down with the attach feature. And then of course the left and right hand sides as well. Um, we're going to get rid of those in a second. Don't worry about that. <laughs> there we go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, also uh, start uh, working on the uh, on the legs here. So we're going to grab a bluish color. And we're just going to put those four voxels in those two places right there with the box tool on attach. Then we're going to use the face tool to extrude them downwards. Um, and I think right about this time, I think we're going to work on the overall piece, maybe? I can't recall. But uh, anyway, uh, I think... Um, Maybe next time we'll do Luigi. I love Luigi as well. There we go. There's the uh, there's the overall pieces right there. I love Luigi. He's great. I'm using the paint tool right now on the box setting just to paint in the blue color. Um, but yeah, so Luigi's great. He's um, he's like the best the best brother Mario could ever have. Um, always saving him from Luigi's mansion. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and I think the next piece we're gonna do the arms. Yep. Go ahead and get the box select tool on attach and then just put those four boxes right there on both sides of his arms. I'm going to go ahead and extrude those out and then down so that we have a nice perfect square. I'm going to fix that piece down at the bottom of them. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put that, uh, put his arm so it looks like it's coming out a little bit. So it looks like he's, uh, it's Mario time. Um, there we go. And we're going to add in a bit of a glove here in a second. So we're going to add in a new whitish color with a slight blue tinge with the saturation. And we're gonna go ahead and just um, we're gonna get rid of that, and we're gonna paint it on. So go to the um, to the box tool, and then just select paint, put that white in there, and then we'll use the face tool to extrude it out. And uh, I'm trying to come up with a way that I can do the thumb, and it looked like a finger gun, which is not what I wanted. So I just got rid of that one voxel right there. And I think uh, in a second here, I'm gonna actually um, shade a little bit. Yep. So we're gonna grab a different, uh, a little bit darker of a white color. A little bit darker of that color and just put in a couple voxels just to make it look like it's his hands kind of in a fist maybe a little bit a little bit of shading in there just to um, give you a bit of an illusion um, voxel work is always a lot of fun try and come up with different ways to make things look right when they don't <laughs> um, but yeah so I think right about now we're gonna select that yep there we go we're gonna that uh, that second tool right under the paint icon which is the select box we're gonna change down at the bottom we're gonna change it to uh, rectangle I think that's what that was Anyway, and we're going to just move that on over with that move tool. We're going to hit the rotate button over here on the right-hand side, and we're going to rotate it until he, his arm is pointing upwards on the x-axis. And we're going to use the move tool just to move it on over, something like that, which looks pretty good. So now he looks like he's uh, he's ready to do some jumping. Um, and I, I couldn't decide if I wanted to move his arm over, not have it in his face like that, or, uh, or leave it the way it was, and I did decide to leave it uh, in his face because it kind of looks like he's right up against his cheek, which is what I wanted, so that looks good. I also started erasing some of the voxels, uh, making this not look as harsh in specific places. You can see, I didn't want to go for the super cube like I usually do. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I want to do the face or the feet first. I decided to do the face, the, the feet, sorry, because I want to do the face last. Go ahead and grab a brown color and the second, another uh, palette color. And um, just add those two voxels on both of his feet there. And then we'll just use the box tool to paint in just the bottom vertices of his feet. There we go. Get rid of the other ones. Looked too big. Looked like he was wearing boots instead of shoes. So um, now we're going to go ahead and do that, uh, those buttons on his jumpsuit, which are so classic. It doesn't even look right without the buttons. It doesn't even look right. There we go. That looks so much better. 
Um, we're gonna go and fix that up, and now we're gonna move on to the face now. I wanna go ahead and get that rim for the hat up. We'll use the attach feature on box select mode, and we'll just create a little bit of a, um, a little rim. It was too big, so we'll go with one full one, and then we'll uh, do something like that. We'll paint the rest of his head, and we'll use the face select tool on attach mode to bump it up one uh, voxel layer. And then on every single side, we'll pull out his hat a little bit and uh, on this side as well. So we'll move that out uh, just a little bit like that. So that looks much better. His hat's bigger and I wanted to kind of round it out a little bit. And he has this little piece in the front that kind of sticks up. Uh, so I kind of wanted to, uh, to make sure that was, that was included. So we just uh, moved everything a little bit to the front. Gave her a little bit more weight in the front there. And now I want to work on that white circle that's so famously known as Mario's hat. Um, and I think I'm going to get rid of this uh, this second layer underneath uh, that white circle because I didn't have enough space. There we go. We're going to just go to the paint tool on box select mode. and Not on box mode, sorry. And um, we're just going to paint that white circle in there with that white whitish color that we use for his gloves. And I'm going to do something kind of strange for the M here. It's going to it's going to look... Um, Similar to this, but I tried it some shading out. I just didn't like the way it looked, so instead I just got rid of that shading and I put uh, a white circle, a white voxel in uh, that right there. There we go. So it looks, it looks, it looks kind of like an M. There we go. So that is going to be it for his hat. I'm going to move on to his hair now. And his hair is going to look pretty good. Uh, we're going to grab that same brown color that we use for his boots, for his shoes rather. And we're just going to use the box tool on paint mode just to paint in some of that, uh, some of those voxels, get that hair going. And of course, Mario has like super sideburns. So we're going to just do something like that, make a space for the ear, make sure those sideburns are huge. Um, and we can get rid of that voxel right there. We don't want it. We don't want two voxels of hair on his face in the front. There we go. So fix that up right there. It looks good. And in the back, I wanted to do like the little Mario. He, like he has the little piece in the back that sticks out. And I love that so much. So I think I'm going to do something like that. And I finally landed on uh, on doing that right there. Because I just love the way that looks. It just looks so good. <laughs> it just looks just like uh, the little hair pieces that stick out. And of course, moving forward, we're going to use the same skin tone for Mario. And we're going to uh, just pull out some of those ears with the box tool on attach mode. I'm going to grab a slightly darker color than his uh, skin tone and then just uh, paint in two little boxes like that to make it look like he has a little bit of uh, detail inside of his ear right there. Now moving on to the face, we're going to create some eyes with a big white box. We're gonna, this is going to be a solid white color. It's not the same white we use for the gloves or the hat. We're going to do something like that and then we'll grab uh, the brown color, use those eyebrows and that famous mustache. Um, but yeah, and then we're going to move uh, forward again to create that big old nose that Mario has. It's just put a 2x2 two two box right there. And then, of course, his gorgeous blue eyes. we got to get in there. Um, so, of course, we're going to grab a different color for that and paint those with the box select, mo box select tool as well. Get rid of both of those. And on the top half, you can see I have the two gradient, the gradient kind of thing going on with a lighter color of the same blue that uh, we used for his eye color so that is it for mario hope you guys enjoyed this voxel art of mario it looks great one of my favorite ones we've done so far um it just looks i love the style it looks great i love the colors that we chose be sure not to uh do too much saturation make sure um it looks like mario that's it i love it i love this one a lot i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did i'll see you guys in the next one but until then bye, -bye.